Hey, it's Jordan here from Roadmonk. If you're wondering how to create a view of your roadmap that perfectly matches your product strategy, you've come to the right place. In this video, we'll look at timelines, one of Roadmonk's two types of visualizations. Timelines are the more traditional way of visualizing your roadmaps. As you might guess, they show a time-oriented view of items, using dates to display roadmap data along, well, a timeline. Ready to see how to set up this visualization? Let's dive in. The first thing to note is that each of your roadmaps within Roadmonk can have multiple timelines. To create a timeline for a roadmap, you'll first need to create a roadmap view, and then create a timeline visualization associated with that view. Views in Roadmonk allow you to create and save different ways of looking at the same roadmap. So a roadmap can have several views and therefore several different timelines. Let's see what that looks like in action. Once you've selected the view you want to visualize, click on the plus view button. Select timeline and then click create. The first thing you'll notice here is that timelines have three main sections. The time range at the top, any items on the timeline, and headers on the side. Above the time range, you'll notice the timeline slider. By dragging the slider, you can zoom in or out on the timeline's dates by adjusting the time range that's visible on the screen. As you drag the slider, the dates at either end of the timeline will also change. The next thing you'll notice about the timeline is that it's split up into time periods, which are represented as dotted vertical lines that form the timeline's columns. You can set each time period on the timeline separately by clicking and selecting either months, quarters, halves, or years in the dropdown. You can also limit the date range of the entire timeline by setting start and end dates. Click the date preferences icon on the far left of the timeline, select a start date and an end date, and then click save. You can also do this by clicking the start and end dates themselves on either side of the slider. The second major component of a timeline is the individual items on the roadmap. These item bars are plotted along the horizontal grid, reflecting each item's date range. To view an item's date range, simply hover over the item's name on the timeline. You can change an item's dates directly in a timeline by dragging and dropping the item bar into another stream. Or you can drag the item's handles on either end. To view and edit any details of an item, click into the item, and the item card will pop up. All timeline roadmaps start out with just the time header, which only gives you a one-dimensional view of your roadmap items. That's where timeline headers come into play. Headers allow you to add more detail to your timeline by grouping items vertically on any field in the roadmap, in addition to plotting them horizontally along a timeline. In fact, you can add both a header and a subheader to a timeline in order to further organize items in each grouping by a second field. To do that, click the Format icon. In the Layout tab, click the Header dropdown. Select the field you want to use for the timeline's main groupings. For this example, we'll change it to the existing field of Owner. To add a subheader, click into the subheader dropdown and select the field you want to use. We'll go with status for this one. Now, you'll see headers along the left side of the timeline grouping items first by owner and then second by status. Once you've selected and added headers to your timeline, you can format the layout and colors of the headers and items. There are lots of ways to adjust the color and layout of your roadmap by clicking into the format icon and choosing either the layout or colors tab. Here, you can customize your color palette as well as assign different icons to your milestones. So play around with it and see what works best for your roadmap. After you nail down the layout and color scheme that make your roadmap look boardroom ready, you'll have a timeline worth